MNC, it's MNC. He gon' rack it up, the bitch again. He gon' bag it up. Y'all know what moves on, moves and crap. Moves, moves and crap. Moves and crap. Moves, moves and crap. It's that time to get ready for the MNC show. Grab your coffee or your liquor, cause we ready to roll. They talking games, plus some gadgets, and you already know. Dial that number, leave them questions, and the way they go. Be a pony or a bot, the truth be it don't matter. We just gamers talking games, not those drama queens matters. So let's talk about gaming, news, leaks, and reviews. This a fan show on whatever topic y'all choose. True Xbox fans, and y'all know we bleed green. Yet we got every console we can play, everything. Got that Forza, got that Halo, got that Fallout, got that Kratos, got that Zelda, got that Spidey, got that AC, got it, Ike. Mooch and crap, mooch, mooch and crap, mooch and crap, mooch, mooch and crap. We just talking about games, no drama. That's how we do. MMC stays the show just for the people. Nostalgic is a hell of a drug. Gaming is the number one hobby we all keen to Mooch and crap, bringing gaming opinions and facts MMC is back on the map, it's the best for sure And that's that, it's M and C, it's M and C It's Mooch and crap, it's Mooch and crap MMC is back, M and C is back, it's back, it's back And y'all already know Welcome to the MNC Show, and we are live. We certainly are live, and you've got a refreshed and revitalized Mooch. We had a week off, basically, from our major podcasts on Xbox Nation and Crossfire. Decided, you know, the week had de- decent amount of news crap, but it didn't necessarily overflow. So it was a good week to kind of sit back, relax. Even if sometimes it wasn't in our control, it was just kind of like, you know, let's take the week off and see what happens. And we got a revitalized show today. How you doing this morning, Grab? Revitalized. I'm I'm so revitalized. <laughs> I I can't even imagine how, being more revitalized than I am right this second. I'm I'm thrilled. Um, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing? I tell you what, man. Life finds a way. No, life uh, has its up and down. So yeah, you know, it's just one of those busy been one of those busy kind of weeks or whatever but there is actually a lot to talk about so uh there is. Know, and, we, and it's always good to have people chime in on the on the chat and stuff like that as well so you guys like the video share it out uh let us know what's on your minds also we got a couple voicemails this week so that's going to be something yes to kind of uh you know get involved with and and, and talk about that i hear they're pretty good i haven't i haven't heard them yet but pretty good uh, I, i've heard pretty they're pretty neat. good pretty neat yeah so i'm looking forward to that and uh, you know what hey you know what? it's always just a good time to to have MNC back and it's back and it back. Definitely is. Uh, yeah. So so yeah. There's that. How you doing, Sully? Sully. I'm doing good. I'm just uh. I'm feeling the same way you are. Energized and sort of refreshed. So I'm good. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I tell you <laughs> I what. Know exactly man, how I, you feel. <laughs> That's I awesome. You, man, I I actually had a really good morning. If you get what I'm saying. But then it all kind of went downhill after that. So oh, we'll see. Oh. yeah, I know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, you know, I'm one... <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. I... Uh... <laughs> hey, what can I say, man? I'm not. I'm not living that Xbox life anymore. Uh... <laughs> Hello, testing. Yeah, you I hear there? you. We lost oh, okay. Mooch. I, I think. I I don't hear Mooch. Mooch. What happened, Mooch? Mooch. He's he he's, he's he's still in the chat. I think it's just his mic crapped out. Yeah, Mooch's Testing. mic crapped out. This is now yeah. just the C show. So welcome to the C show, everybody. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get things go. Sully, we're gonna get a lot of good stuff Yo. going here. Let's you know, let's talk about it. Uh, there's gonna be some interesting topics. One of the ones which is right in the title, okay? The coalition issued a tweet saying quitters have been receiving month to year long suspensions for prior behaviors. This is how long you could be suspended for being a rampant quitter. Take heed. Over the next few hours, suspect impacted users will be unsuspended, but one quit away from suspension, you have been warned. So the funny part to me for that is that there happens to be a situation where the servers can mess up or whatever, and apparently Mooch has had a power outage. Move out of New York, Mooch. That's, what I, that's my only advice that I can give you. It's too unpredictable there. <laughs> so anyway... You know, they're banning people for 
a tremendous amount of time. So, you know, you can get banned. There were people getting banned for two years on this game. And I just find that to be a little bit funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's funny, uh, Sully, is is that the, the I think the Hangout, doesn't it stop if Mooch doesn't come back in a certain amount of time? It's supposed, it's on his end. So, like, I start streaming on my end, so if his YouTube goes down, so it's supposed it's still going. So we'll just yeah. I, we'll we'll see how it usually we, yeah usually you, oh Sully are you here? I'm here. Can you hear me? Testing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I only see. Yeah. Okay. There it is. But we, I don't know if Mooch's power has come back on yet. So that's that's going to be the problem. So if it just goes off air, then that's that's what happened. Yeah. That's... So be warned. But anyway, um, the gears thing I thought was a little bit interesting because. Some people were banned for 640 days. And the, the main problem that I had with this was there was really not any prior warning. So you were banned, and then they're like, we're going to unban you, but one more time, and you're banned again. What happens if the servers go down or something? Because that's been kind of an issue um, from the start with Gears of War is the server issue. So m in my opinion, I feel like that was kind of a little bit of a, 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 of a stupid thing to do. Not only that... But there's people that have kids or I'll be honest with you. I haven't put a lot of time in Gears of War 5, but other multiplayer games I get kicked from a lot. You know, I got to go to the bathroom or something, go take a dump that, you know, I'm gone. And then I get kicked for inactivity. You know, is that going to does that mean I quit? You know, of course, I didn't quit the game, but, you know, the game is going to treat it like that. I, I, I've been under I've been penalized before on Halo for leaving a game where I couldn't find a, I wasn't able to do a game for 15 minutes or whatever. So I think that kind of sucks. Yeah, if if somebody's rampantly quitting 200 times in a month, maybe ban them for a little bit. But I think a year is, uh, uh, <laughs> but I think a year is uh is a bit much. Extreme. Mooch says, and I quote, "I said, is is it back?" And I and he says, "Nope, whole neighborhood is down. No idea what's wrong. I hear other people's generators kicking in. Keep going. Shouldn't be long. Just talk to the audience. Talk to the audience." Man, okay, no problem. I can talk to the audience. You got this. this I crap. think this is yeah. Th this is going good. So, Sully, let me yo let me ask you something. What what okay. have you been playing lately, man? Because you play weird stuff. I wouldn't say weird, but you weird. play games that yeah, like games that maybe traditionally people um you know tend aren't not to play. Maybe, yeah, maybe a fan of yeah. You play like State of Decay two. Like you're a big fan of that game. What do you yes. got like five thousand hours in? No, not 5,000. 612 hours, to be exact, on State of Decay 2. That's still a lot of time, <laughs> man. That, that's, a, that's a tremendous <laughs> amount of time. So what have you been playing lately? I've been playing quite a few games, actually. I've been playing the remake of the Ghostbusters, uh, re, like remaster of the Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. I, I've been playing um, this RPG. Somebody get that for me. Yeah. I'm going to move yeah. to Mooch's channel. <laughs> I want to play the remastered Ghostbusters, but $30 ain't, body, ain't nobody got that type of money around these parts. <laughs> So hook it up, M O H space Crap Gamer or Crap Gamer on. Uh, oh yeah, you can't game gift on on PlayStation, but just you know, send me a a gift card, something, man. I'm poor, I'm so poor, <laughs> and I got bit by a scorpion last. Did I ever tell you guys that? So I told Moose this right, and I showed him the picture. I was working, and we have these things here called tree bark scorpions, and I've never ever had a run in with them though. I've, I've never, I've never had a run in with them, man. Somehow one of them got in under my shirt right? Like on my chest. And, and I felt something kind of walking across my chest. And I was like, that's weird. And I put my finger in there and it felt like I got stung by a bee and I was like, or a, or like a wasp or something. I was like, damn, I was like, that hurt. So I put my hand in there again and it started stinging my chest like about four times. I was like, what the hell is there? So I start <laughs> taking off my shirt, right? I'm like, there's a damn scorpion in there, man. I, I shook it out and then pff, squished it. But Damn, man, them things hurt like wasp stings. I was like, I never felt anything like that. I've never had a run in with scorpions or anything. But yeah, like that stuff is crazy, man. Like a scorpion crawled in there. And then I'm so I'm like, okay, so what's going to happen to me now? And then you look it up or whatever. And it's like, well, none of the scorpions native to Florida are deadly. They hurt like bee stings or wasp stings. Um, you know, as long as you're not allergic to that kind of stuff, which I'm not, um, you know, just kind of keep an eye on it or whatever. Benadryl. And I had these little red dots on me or whatever. But yeah, I never had any kind of idea 
that that was something that, you know, there was an issue here. So, man, yeah, incredible to kind of uh, – you guys have wasps out there, uh, Sully, in, in, in great yeah, state I've of been, Texas? I've been stung by quite a few wasps. We even have those big hornet things that walk on the ground and stuff. They – those yeah, suck. yeah, they suck. Oh my god! Yeah, gosh. see, I've been I've, I've been bung by, stung by some hornets before and some wasps back when I was younger, but never a scorpion. Like I didn't even know that we had those. You know what I mean? Like yeah. like just walking around or whatever. Like when I was a kid, my brother had a pet scorpion, like one of them big emperor scorpions. But <laughs> these are like smaller ones. They're you yeah, know a couple inches or whatever. Are harmless for the most part down here. So yeah, they, their stings kind of sting you though, man. Yeah. I was like, ugh, you know what I mean? Like holy crap! Like I, that was pretty unexpected. But you know, anyway. Uh, to get kind of back on topic, yeah, the gear stuff, I felt that that was a little bit unnecessary, like a little bit too much in terms of, um, you know, cutting out their people away from their games. Like, I get that it, that, that most people just probably p- played a dollar for this game, but at the same time, man, keep it, keeping somebody off the game for a year or two, I find that to be a little bit ridiculous, and hopefully they can kind of work on, um, like, an in-between. I, I had originally said I would expect them to maybe, um, you know, maybe – go out there and, uh, and and kind of say and change this around a little bit because that's not a way to really grow a community. I can remember, uh, I think there's certain games out there where if you're a habitual quitter or whatever or a bad gamer, uh, like or you cheat or whatever, a lot of reports against you, they'll match you up against other people that do the same. But I like banning somebody for two years, I think is a little extreme, especially for, uh, you know, quit. and again, I'm, I'm the type of gamer when I play multiplayer games, sometimes I get kicked. It's not uncommon for me to get kicked a couple times in a day, you know, my internet or whatever. So sometimes servers go out. So I just found that to be a little bit kind of uh, weird that that actually happened. Uh, what's up, everybody in the chat? I see Salty is gaming. Uh, I see Pony Slayer. Oh, man, I better <laughs> watch out. Secret Sauce is overrated. You got, you know, a lot of good people out there. Hit the like button, share it out. Hopefully things keep going uh, until, you know, uh, Mooch gets back in here. He has no no word yet on what's going on, but hopefully uh, soon. Otherwise, I'm not sure exactly. Rated Demonic says, "Here we go, Mooch. Pop this in the generator. Two bucks. That's one gallon. That's not even a gallon of gas, my friends. But still, you know, I'm sure Mooch is going to be uh, extremely happy about it and, uh, and and excited and stuff like that. So yeah, very very cool stuff. And again. <laughs> I'm just buying time for Mooch to get back. You know, he's going to talk about food, I'm sure, some kind of analogy, uh, some kind of something or other. But, but Sully, what, what games do you think are coming uh, the, for the rest of the year that you're most excited about? And don't say Outer Worlds. I was going to say that, but um, let me see what else. I know. Probably... No, no, you can say Outer Worlds. I'm just kidding. No, Outer Worlds, you... yeah, that's on well, my what's list. Appealing, because... What's appealing about that game to you? Uh, it's like Fallout New Vegas in space, I guess. I saw some of the dialogue. I watched some of the gameplay. It, the, the dialogue is, is pretty decent compared to, like, the recent Fallout games, like Fallout 4 and stuff. But, um, I've been, I've been interested yeah. in that for a long time. Um, and see what else. Star Wars, I'm kind of watching that. I'm going to test it out on the EA Access first, the trial. And if it's any yeah. good, then I'll pick it up. So those are the only two yeah, you games know, I, I'm looking I'm forward to. I'm looking forward to playing that game. I think that it's really going to be, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a fun game. So the yeah. two games that I'm most looking forward to the rest of this year are Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and, of course, the Star Wars game. Those are, I think, the only two, yeah. other than Death Stranding, which I think I'm getting for free. Um, you know what I mean? So hopefully, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully, he made a bid with a lot of people. I saw that. <laughs> he made yeah. a lot of people. So. Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully we can, and uh, you know, I, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Like I think, uh, you know, Modern Warfare is going to be a good game. I didn't play the beta or anything at all. Did you get a chance to play that? No, I skipped on it. I, like if I, I'm probably going to skip on Modern Warfare unless I get it for free. Hint, hint. GT Godeg seven seven five on Xbox. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I'm I I don't know. I might get it because. I haven't been playing too much COD lately, you know. I, I even uninstalled Black yeah. Ops Four, you know. I uninstalled. Oh, I, I, I even... kind of like that one. I just wish it would. Yeah, have, like, I some liked kind it of too. Player. It's just I uninstalled it because I I have so much games to to play. I mean, it's like, oh yeah. my god, I needed space. Now, so. where do you mostly game? Are you mostly do you? Like, I know you game on PC as well. Yeah. Do you mostly yeah. game on Xbox or PC? So far, you know, as of right now, it's still Xbox because majority of my games are there. But I've been gaming uh, quite a bit on mm. the P- PlayStation Four and the Switch lately. I've been playing some Fire Emblem and some At uh, yeah. Chain- Atlas Chains or whatever that that new Switch game. And I've been playing on PC. So, but mostly oh, I Xbox. Hear you, man. I, mostly, but, yeah. 
I, I used to be, I haven't really played much Xbox lately, but uh, I see uh, Salty says he would play Death Strand if he got it for free. I won it off of that game trailers kid or guy. Uh, he bet me that Gears 5 would get a 95 Metacritic. Uh, so that was an easy bet <laughs> oh, to, to, to lay down there. Yeah. He's always like, they're got, you know, like any, I argue, he's a good person, but I always argue with them on Twitter. And he goes, let's bet. And I'm like, dude, and he wants to do a podcast with me. And Mooch was like, you should let him. And I was like, I would own this man's house by the end of the podcast because he would just <laughs> bet me everything and lose oh. every time. So he's like, Gears 5 is going to be great. They're taking chances. They're doing this. They have more time to develop, blah, blah, blah. And then it ended up being, what, an 84, an 85, almost the same as the last one. And now he's like, Halo Halo Infinite. It's going to be a 90-plus Metacritic game of the year, five-year development cycle, blah, 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 new engine, this, that. I'm like, dude, man, he, this guy is just going to – he bets with his heart, and I, I just find that to be kind of funny. So, you know, again, as far as I could tell, the Halo stuff is interesting because they're losing a lot of developers kind of left and right or whatever. But yeah. – yeah, that remains to be seen. Like sometimes people just look at that as just another day or whatever. Uh, for me personally, um, I don't know. I'll wait and see. I'm not planning on buying that game anyway. Uh, wow. So game according pass. to Mooch, he says it doesn't look good. They're saying 3 p.m., which is wow. three hours from now. Uh, literally many counties without power is crazy. So, uh, okay. Very interesting <laughs> stuff. I, I, hey, I appreciate everybody out here, man. I'm going to give it another uh, couple more minutes. All right, Sully. If not, we'll yeah, go ahead no and worries. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Yeah. We'll so, see. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, like I said, I, I just, I just find that to be very interesting. And, and again, uh, are you going to be, isn't Outer Worlds coming out very soon? Yes, it Sully? is. Outer World is coming on the 25th, same day as COD. So it's probably going to be rest oh, in that's peace. A no then for me. <laughs> yeah. So even it's going to be it, destroyed for a little for while. Yeah. 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 Good so, thing for uh, that Game Pass cushion, you know, else people would probably skip on it. So. Yeah, I mean, look, Game Pass. That's uh, that's a thing, right? That's I mean, yeah. lots of people like that. Hey, listen, I'm not knocking Game Pass. I think it's fine. I just, it's going to be very interesting to see later on when all these other uh, developers and, and stuff like that are doing their own thing and they're pulling their games. I I see Game Pass as being something that mostly. You're going to see uh, Xbox exclusives and like smaller indie games and stuff like that. And I feel like that's probably going to be, um, you know, best case scenario or whatever. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know what? I, I think it's going to be fun, whatever. If you guys are looking forward to it, it's not my bag. It's not my cup of tea. It's not my bag, baby. But I still think, you know, if people really like that whole Fallout type thing that, you know, Ooh. you're going to be pretty happy with that. Because it does. I'm not saying that it's going to be a bad game. Uh, so like, I just don't like that those games aren't really for me. No, those you know are what I games mean? for uh, people who have particular tastes. Uh, but the Fallout, folks yeah, like, like Fallout, like everybody was telling it. me, right? Like, yeah. like back in the day, right? They're like, you got to play Fallout Three. You got to play Fallout Three. Yeah. And I played it, and it was just it's like for everybody. I didn't know yeah. where to go. I didn't know what to do. You had like three bullets, and these enemies just wouldn't die. So it was yeah. like, eh, you know. And then I gave up. And then I tried to play New Vegas. Same type of situation. So, you know, it's just one of those things where I just kind of, uh, those aren't really my game. I get it. If people really like that franchise or whatever, it does look like that's going to be up your alley. But for me personally, I'm of the mind that I actually hope that uh, that they do something else after this or whatever. So, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that, in my personal opinion, I, I was hoping that, like, again, when we get these first games from these studios, right, uh, I, I was kind of hoping for something a little bit. Same thing with Ninja Theory. Like Bleeding right. Edge is definitely not my thing, and and to kind of see uh, Ninja Theory uh, talk about you know Bleeding Edge or whatever, I know they're doing something else as well, but I would have rather seen something single player first out of the gate from them. And yeah. it's it's almost like the same kind of thing with Obsidian. I would have loved, and I know this isn't exclusive, but if this game does well, it means they got to make another one. And I even if that is exclusive, it doesn't mean anything to me because I'm not a fan of the of the franchise or anything like that. So. Um, hopefully it is or whatever. Hey, everybody hit the like button. Mooch had, uh, had a, a, a massive power outage. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to come back anytime soon. Um, but anyway, look, I'll, maybe I'll do something later on myself. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, but Sully, I appreciate you stopping out and, uh, yeah. and running this stuff for a little bit. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> it's crazy, man. We started the show and then Mo Mooch is gone, but yeah. uh, I guess we'll catch you guys next week, man. Appreciate All it. All right. Later on. Peace. Here's the outro. Here one. we go. <laughs> Here's the outro.
MC. What a great show. It's MNC. He gonna rack it up. Cause get your game on. And he gonna bag it up. Y'all know what moves on. Moves and crap. Moves, moves and crap. Moves and crap. Moves, moves and crap. It's that time to get ready for the MNC show. Grab your coffee or your liquor cause we ready to roll. They talking games, busting gadgets and you already know. Dial that number, leave them questions and away they go. Be a pony or a bot, the truth be it don't matter. We just gamers talking games, not those drama queens matters. So let's talk about gaming, news, leaks and reviews. This is a fan show on whatever topic y'all choose. True Xbox fans, and y'all know we bleed green, yet we got every console we can play, everything. Got that Forza, got that Halo, got that Fallout, got that Kratos, got that Zelda, got that Spidey, got that AC, got it, Ike. Mooch and crap, mooch, mooch and crap, mooch and crap, mooch, mooch and crap. We just talking about games, no drama, that's how we do. MMC stays a show just for the people, nostalgia is a hell of a drug to be a fiend to. Gaming is the number one hobby, we all keen to. Mooch and crap, bring gaming opinions and facts, MMC is back on the map. It's the best for show, and that's that. It's M and C, it's M and C, it's Mooch and crap, it's Mooch and crap, MMC is back.